Recent scientific breakthroughs have sparked a surge in popularity of TMG supplements, so in this video I'll cover the latest studies showing how TMG can enhance three key aspects of our health, address an important safety concern, and discuss dosage considerations. And if you're considering using NMN supplements, there's a money-saving message for you towards the end of the video. Let's start with the first two proposed benefits of TMG supplements, and just so we're clear, TMG and betaine are the same thing. We know that muscle strength is crucial, not only for feeling strong today, but also for our long-term health. A growing body of evidence suggests that higher muscle strength is associated with lower all-cause death rates. So in other words, people with better muscle strength tend to live longer, have fewer health problems, especially heart-related issues. And I see this all of the time at the clinic. Frail, older patients are far more susceptible to losing their mobility and independence. They often struggle to recover from simple things like like minor falls or infections. On the other hand, I have older patients who have prioritized their muscle strength through regular exercise, and they stay far more active, recover faster from illness, and maintain their independence for much longer. But here's the challenge. As we age, our muscle strength naturally declines. And for men, testosterone drops by about 1% per year from the age of 35. Testosterone is a crucial factor in maintaining muscle mass, so that decline can make it even harder to stay stronger as we get older. Intriguingly though, here is where TMG supplements may help. TMG, which stands for trimethylglycine, is a compound that's found in foods like beets, spinach, and wheat bran. And while the exact mechanisms aren't completely understood, scientists have a few ideas about how TMG works. It may help our bodies produce more creatine, which is crucial for short bursts of energy like weightlifting. It might increase nitric oxide, improving blood flow. It could enhance how our body recycles ATP, which is the energy our cells use to power through intense activities. And it might help with muscle muscle protein synthesis, which is key for building and maintaining muscle. But what does the human evidence show? We'll first look at muscle performance and then testosterone. The research on TMG and muscle performance, it's evolved over time. So in 2017, a review of seven studies found that only two of them showed improvements in muscle performance, while the other five, it didn't see much difference. So why the mixed results? Well, it turns out that studies showing benefits had the participants doing more intense, high-powered resistance training. In those trials, TMG made a significant difference. Now let me explain how these studies worked. They were what's called randomized clinical trials, which is a fancy way of saying that the people in the study, they were randomized into two groups. One group took the real TMG supplement, and the other group took something that looked like TMG, but it doesn't actually do anything, and this is called a placebo. But here's the key part. Both groups did the same exercises, but it was the people who took the TMG that saw greater improvements in their muscle strength and performance compared to the placebo group. The important point here is that TMG seems to work best when combined with intense exercise. That's why some people in these studies, they saw muscle performance improvements while others didn't. TMG, it's not a magic pill. It works in conjunction with hard training. But since that 2017 review, more research has been done that's expanded our understanding of TMG and how to get the most benefits from it. So in 2021, a study gave TMG to professional soccer players for 14 weeks. The players saw improvements in their one rep max, which is the most amount of weight they can lift in one go, their VO2 max, which is the oxygen their bodies can use during exercise, and their sprinting performance compared to those who took the placebo. So again, TMG shows promising results when paired with physical activity. But it's not just about exercise performance. TMG also seems to help with testosterone. In the same soccer player study, the group that took the TMG saw increases in their testosterone levels compared to the placebo group. That effect was replicated in a 2022 study. Both the TMG and placebo groups did intense workouts, but the TMG group had significant gains in their leg press and bench press performance with a large Cohen's D, which just means that the effect was pretty large. They also saw an increase in testosterone levels. And just like with the soccer player study, the TMG group in this study also saw an increase in testosterone compared to the placebo group. And in 2023, another study tested TMG on people doing CrossFit training. After supplementing with TMG, their CrossFit performance improved by about 8% and testosterone levels went up by 7% compared to the placebo group. Overall, there's good evidence that TMG supplements can improve both muscle performance and testosterone levels. But there's another intriguing potential benefit of TMG. Then we'll have a look at safety, 
dose and a special message for those who take NMN supplements. So a tantalizing prospect is that TMG supplements may help improve cognitive performance and reduce the risk of dementia. In 2020, a large review of the risk factors for Alzheimer's disease found that high levels of homocysteine, which is an amino acid, were strongly linked to Alzheimer's. It went on to say that homocysteine lowering treatment seems to be a promising intervention for Alzheimer's disease prevention. And what's interesting is that TMG has been shown to lower homocysteine levels by donating methyl groups to help convert homocysteine into another compound called methionine. In other words, TMG may reduce a risk factor for Alzheimer's by lowering homocysteine. Now, this isn't a guaranteed way to prevent Alzheimer's, but it's a promising area of research, especially when we consider how it interacts with omega-3 and B vitamins. So in my recent omega-3 video, I shared data showing that people with low homocysteine levels who took omega-3 supplements experienced experienced a 7.1% improvement in their brain performance and a 22.3% reduction in dementia symptoms. But for those with high homocysteine, omega-3, it didn't help at all. This suggests that homocysteine plays a crucial role in brain health. Now, I want to be clear that more research is required before any definitive conclusions can be drawn, but this is a tantalizing prospect that by using TMG supplements to lower homocysteine levels, we may be able to lower the risk of developing dementia, especially when combined with healthy levels of omega-3. As an aside, you may have noticed that throughout this video, I've used words like may and possibly and more research is required. Now, if you're new to the channel, it might seem strange for a medical doctor to sound uncertain, but that's how clinical medicine works. We don't make grand claims without solid evidence. Just because early studies look promising, it doesn't mean that we can recommend treatments to everyone. We have to be cautious until we have more data. So while TMG's potential for lowering homocysteine and reducing dementia risk is exciting, we need to wait for stronger evidence before making any big claims. Now let's connect this idea of lowering homocysteine with another key factor, B vitamins. B vitamins are also effective in lowering homocysteine, and in the large COSMOS trials, researchers found that after two years, people who took multivitamin and mineral supplements that included B vitamins showed improvements in cognition and memory. This adds another piece to the puzzle, suggesting that healthy micronutrient levels are critical for brain health. Now, of course, a healthy diet always comes first, with leafy green vegetables, beans, lentils, and chickpeas. But to make sure that I'm getting all of the right micronutrients every day, I decided to use a low-dose supplement. I didn't want to make a dose, I wanted just the right amount. So I had two options. I could take a B vitamin complex or a multivitamin and mineral supplement, and I went with the multivitamin option because of the positive results from the Cosmos studies. But I ran into a problem. Most of the supplements I found had doses that were way too high and in forms of doses that I didn't prefer. That's why I created microvitamin, and in formula version 5, I increased the B vitamin content from 50% to 75% of the recommended daily intake based on the data that I've shared in this video. And because B12 is harder to absorb, I made sure to include a higher dose of that. I also included TMG, not just because of its benefits on exercise and testosterone, but because it helps to further lower homocysteine, which, as we've discussed, could be an important factor for cognitive health. And while all of this sounds great, there's one thing to be aware of. Higher doses of TMG, so around 4 grams or more, can increase total cholesterol levels. So that's why I included a lower dose of 500 milligrams in microvitamin. That's to get the benefits of TMG without the downsides. And now for the money-saving message for NMN users. Some NMN companies suggest taking TMG alongside NMN. A couple of months ago, I reviewed the human research on NMN, and the results were mixed. There wasn't a clear benefit from NMN supplements alone. So for people taking TMG and NMN together, I wonder if the benefits that they're feeling could actually be from the TMG not any men. After all, we've got several studies now showing how TMG can improve exercise performance and testosterone, but unfortunately, the same can't be said for any men right now. So it's something to think about. Are the any men supplements worth your hard-earned money when the real benefits might be coming from TMG? And make sure to check out this next video here on omega-3 and cognitive performance, because as I've explained, Omega-3, when used correctly, appears to play a crucial role in boosting brain performance and possibly reduce the risk of dementia. And a massive thank you to all of the Patreons supporting the channel.